Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. This is my <clears throat> last day before I take my little vacation and go to the Powell River for a few days, so I'm totally excited about that. I can't wait to see some of my friends while I'm there. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. Just finishing up some stuff today at the studio. I'm going to see my client in a little bit and then head home, pack, and get ready for tomorrow. Um, so yeah. So I, I was... Um, sick a couple of weeks ago, about two, three weeks ago now, I guess, and um, I don't get sick a lot. Um, when I do, I can usually trace it back to bad habits, like not getting enough sleep or not eating properly or whatever. There's usually a reason why I get sick. And um, so I wanted to talk about some tips for you so that you don't get sick. And this is a time of year where a lot of people do get sick. There's lots of viruses and stuff floating around, and um, it sucks to be sick. You know, it slows you down. You feel like crap. So if you can avoid it, that's the best. Hey, Donnie. Hi, Richard. <laughs> How's it going, guys? So just some easy tips that you can implement into your life. They're all really quite simple. Um, the first one is to avoid processed foods. So uh, processed foods just don't belong in our bodies. Uh, when the food is processed and it's, it's changed from its natural form, your body just can't break it down properly and use it for proper energy. So you end up really bogging your system down. And I don't know if you know this, but about 80% of your immune system is actually located in your digestive tract. So if you're overburdening your digestive tract with a bunch of processed crap that your body can't use, you're actually taxing your immune system. So if you come in contact with a virus, you're probably going to get sick if you've been eating a lot of processed food. And that goes for sugar too. Sugar is the worst, like refined sugar. I'm not talking about fruit or natural stuff that has not been removed from its natural source. I'm talking about like white sugar, that crap. So um, if you have sugar, your immune system is actually depressed for about seven hours after you've had sugar. So if you happen to come in contact with a virus in those seven hours, more than likely you're going to get sick. So there's a reason to try and lay off the sugar as much as possible. Um, the other one is getting enough sleep, and uh, this is one that I'm totally guilty of. I, I just, I don't get enough sleep. I'm not disciplined enough to go to bed early enough to get enough sleep. I usually have to get up at somewhere between 4 and 5 in the morning, and uh, my days usually go late, so by the time I've ate dinner and had a chance to relax, you know, it's getting late, and I'm enjoying relaxing, so I end up staying up a little bit longer, and before you know it, it's like 11, 12, whatever, and it's like, okay, I better get to bed, get some sleep. So I'm pretty sure that's why I got sick recently was because of the lack of sleep. Hey, Andy, how's it going? So um, for everyone, it's going to be different how much sleep you need. They generally recommend seven to eight hours a night. Um, I know some people do just fine on less. And it also has to do with the quality of your sleep as well. So if you're getting, you know, really good quality sleep in a shorter amount of time, you're going to be better off than getting poor quality sleep. So uh, making sure that your bedroom is set up for sleeping so it's nice and dark, it's quiet, you're going to get a good rest. Um, you got to do that and try, try to go for, for longer sleeping. I, I'm terrible. And what happens to me is I get so tired. And then when I, I go on vacation or whatever, like when I go to Powell River, I know that my first night there, I'm probably going to sleep 12 to 16 hours. It's not uncommon for me. So I know it's not good for me. It's very unbalanced. And I need to fix it. And that should probably be something that I should be working on. So <clears throat> the other one is your um, outlook on stuff. So being more optimistic rather than pessimistic. And um, studies have shown that pessimistic people do get sick more than optimistic people. And the reason is that when you're depressed, your brain actually becomes depleted in certain hormones. And this creates a chain of events that will actually slow down the activity of your immune system. So it is a real thing. So trying to not be pessimistic, trying to think more positively, trying to be, you know, a little bit happier. And um, sometimes that takes a little bit of work to do, but uh, practice it, and after a while, it'll become uh, natural. So, Andy, you caught a cold once, you never had the flu, no childhood disease, no chicken pox, mumps, measles, nothing. Wow, that's awesome. I've actually never had any of those childhood things either, but I do get colds, and every once in a while, get a flu. But it sounds like you're pretty healthy there, Andy. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, and then, of course, this is what I'm going to recommend is exercise. So um, people have, uh, or doctors have found that exercise actually does uh, provide a boost to the cells that are um, assigned to attack bacteria. 
So they find that people um, who don't work out, um, they, they actually do end up getting sicker a little more often. So this is not to say to work out, you know, too much because that's that's the other end of the scale. If you work out too much, you're actually depleting your immune system, so you could end up getting sick. So finding that, you know, healthy medium, getting in um, enough exercise, but not too much. So, you know, 30 minutes a day is fine. Uh, aim for five to six days a week. If you've got a little more time to spend on it, great. But it doesn't have to be a super long workout. Um, and watch your intensity. I did a post a little while back about exercise intensity. Um, you know, you want to have one, maybe two really intense workouts per week, and then um, you want to have some that are more moderate and then some that are more like an active rest. So if you're doing high intensity all the time and just like killing yourself every time you go to the gym, you'll get sick for sure. You'll just, you're just going to deplete your immune system and you're not going to get the results that you want either. So like I said, these are easy tips to uh, implement in your life. I'm going to be working on the getting more sleep thing. Got to plan my day a little bit better. Um, so, you know, start doing them and, and see if you're healthier, if you're a person who gets sick quite often, um, unlike Andy who never gets sick, that's awesome, <laughs> I'm jealous. Um, yeah, just try these things and see if they help you out. So I have to run and get ready for my client and then um, get ready for going to Pell River tomorrow morning. So um, I'll see you again probably on the 29th. I'm going to take a few days off and really rest and enjoy myself. All right, so have an awesome few days. Talk to you soon.